Wow. Oh, it's a perch, guys. Not bad. Here we go, guys. The hook I have on the vise, guys, it's Jig 12 by Decoy, size 6. We don't have any lead on it. Let's make it. Here we go, guys. One gram jig head is made, let's tie on it. If you want to know how to make these bobbin holders, or this whip finisher, or bodkin, I leave the link in the description. I'm going to use bright pink thread in 6 odd. Bring it far as the barb. Thread. And bring the thread back, open wraps. This is a bass jig skirt. I bought them online in bulk, real cheap, and they have good quality legs. I'm going to take green color out of it. Slide it under the thread. This is our body material. It's a pink stretchy cord. Got it in the jewelry store. It's used for making bracelets and necklaces. It is one mil thick. If we just take it like this and wrap it around the body, at the back it's going to be too bulky. There's going to be a big step. So we need to burn it with a lighter to make it thinner. And then build up the color of the body, so the pink thread shows up real good. Here we go, we have brought the thread far as there, and we need this room for the torques. This is red thread in 6 odd. Let's cut the legs. This is a cassette for your boombox type radio. Inside it has film. When I stretch it, it thins out. This is a needle for crocheting. I'm going to make a knot. Fold it over like this, twist the needle around, making a loop, and then pull the tag end through the loop, like so. And then once we tighten it, there is a, a leg with a nice joint in it. I got the two legs.
This is synthetic dubbing that I made from an acrylic yarn. I'm going to include a link in the description to the episode where I made this dubbing. This is a piece of artificial leather. It's black on the top and fabric material at the bottom. I have cut about three millimeter strip of it. Now we will cut a V into it. Here we go. Now we'll position it on the top. So the back of the V extends just a little bit past the thorax. And then we'll take two turns. That's one. And that's two. And when we unravel the thread, we're going to see a mark where the thread pushed into the into our wing buds. Here we go. There's the mark. This way we will avoid bulk at the head of the jig. There's another V. Attach it short of the first one. Now whip finish. Just in case. few coats of varnish guys and we'll be ready to go. Jigs are ready, let's check size and weight. The body is around 2 cm and together with the tail it's 3.5 cm. It is 1.1 gram. Let's put them in the box and take them out fishing. We're on the water again. It's October. The autumn is in full swing. But I just want to start with, with our good old faithful red nymph. <laughs> Look at that guys, first small perch of the day. Look at that. My god guys, isn't that the smallest perch ever? Look at that! Oh, there's a fish guys. I don't know what it is, hopefully it's not pike. Oh, it's a perch guys, not bad. Okay size. Let me get you out. Look at that guys. On the red nymph. Awesome.
such a gentle bite guys this is makeshift lures and I approve this nymph <laughs> that was some bite guys look at that Wow, look at that. A mother and a son. <laughs> the baby's big. Look at him. Hello, little fella. You're huge. You're bigger than the mom. <laughs> look at that. Hey guys, 1.5 gram jig, imitating perhaps a stonefly. Let's give it a go. Hopefully, I won't get snagged <laughs> too soon. Oh. <laughs> There is, there is one little one. <laughs> Look at that guys. The perch feels cold. I think the water gun, yeah, it gone quite a bit colder compared to the month before. <laughs> I was fishing and then I got snagged. So I have decided to put on this one gram pink and green tail jig Oh, I can't believe it, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> After trying so hard. Look at that. Look at this little fella. This is makeshift lures, and I proved this one gram pink jig. Okay guys, on this note, I think it's time to go home. It's, it's getting quite dark. Soon I won't be able to see anything. This, yeah, so I need to pack up while it's still a little bit bright. And with this beautiful autumn, autumn river and swans, not much fish today, there was only one big ish perch and and the rest were small not what i was expecting at all okay guys i'm gonna go home i'm gonna take some rest and think of a new lure for our box